Hi, I'm Violin. You watching Scam at Lightning Report. About 150 people lost their lives due to lightning strikes from 1st of April to June 23rd. On last Sunday, it was reported that more than 45 lives were claimed by lightning strikes across 12 districts in Odisha. Here you can see that lightning began developing over this region at about 11 a.m. on July 30th. Lightning strikes as represented by the yellow icons kept on increasing and continued till about 5 p.m. This is what our network of lightning data captured live on Saturday. Over a period of two days, the Earth Network's total lightning network recorded about 1,37,066 lightning strikes over Orisha. More than 97,000 of those strikes occurred on Saturday alone. This was a result of thundercloud development in view of the monsoon trough passing through Orisha. Skymet has partnered with Earth Networks in order to set up over 20 lightning data so far. We are now able to triangulate live lightning activity across the country. Calamities arising from lightning strikes can be avoided or at least reduced by providing live lightning and thunderstorm report to the masses. This could be a breakthrough achievement for public safety in the country. On the 9th of July this year, a Go Air flight from Kolkata with 180 passengers on board flew directly into a pocket of lightning which cracked its windshield about half an hour from the Delhi airport. Here in this video by Earth Networks, we can see the path of the distressed flight. Fortunately, the flight made a safe landing an hour later. In 2014, more than 2,500 people lost their lives due to lightning strikes. Such mishaps generally occur in the pre- and post-monsoon seasons. Nevertheless, scientists believe such severe lightning at this time of the year could be attributed to changing climate and ecological imbalance. You can click here to track this live lightning data report.